What's up, guys? Um, so I uh, recently figured out how to do this Lewis script stuff. I don't, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, couldn't really find out. I mean, it it actually is very easy. Um, so I I guess if you're a douchebag, you're like, come on, man, you don't know how to do this. But there are a lot of douchebags out there that don't like to share information. But I figured I'd give some kind of like, not tutorial, I guess tutorial, but. A way about a way to go about doing it. This makes RNG on an emulator so much easier than how I used to do it. It's it's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So first off, what you're gonna need is you're gonna have to download a special Visual Boy Advance. I'm gonna put the link in the in the description, I guess. So where you can get that, and it's basically a, a Visual Boy Advance that can run Lua Script, as you can see right here. Um, what the heck is that? Um, um, I guess whatever. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, so you're going to need the special VBA. You're going to need the actual script, which I will explain later. Uh, you're going to need RNG reporter, of course, and the calculator and the notepad are just there. So, excuse me. So I could write down just in case I need to, um, you know, so you got, you guys can visually see what I'm doing. So basically... What you're going to want to do once you get this all downloaded, um, so yeah, you're going to want to open it up. Uh, you're going to want to run the game. So we can go ahead and start it up. And uh, the way you open this little box right here um, is you go to Tools, Lua Scripting, and you click here. And then this window will come up. And there won't be anything here at first. So you just browse. And then you see how I have all these Lua LU. When you download these originally, they're gonna they're gonna be text files. All you need to do is go in here. Oops, uh, wrong one. All you need to do is go here, and you know how you could just do that. Come over here, get rid of that. It's gonna be it's gonna be this at first. So just if just in case you guys don't know how, because a lot of people don't know how to do this. And you just write it like that, and then you just press enter, and it's saved, and it's good to go. Now it's a Lu file, whatever Lua file. So, anyways, I already have it open, and see what it does is if you hit run. Look at that; it's showing you your frames. It's it's because you know in, in third gener in, in the third generation games, um, they just advance continuously. I think it's 60 frames per second, and I'm I'm running this at a, at a at a normal pace, so it's going at the 60 frames per second. It is. Like I said, the good thing about emulators is you can speed it up. So if you would go here, and just by turning off the sound alone, speeds it up. So look, I'm going 190. Oh, running this right here though, the loose script does slow it down. So if like if you stop it, now I'm running at like high enough, you know, speed. For instance, if I go here, and then I go turbo mode, sped it up a little bit. And I'm not sure if this does anything. I do it just because I'm kind of OCD, and it's only a thousand. And if you stop this, I got it running at, look at that, pretty much at two thousand stuff like that. And uh, you know, if when you're going for high frames, you want to cut this off, and then periodically you want to run it and see where you're at. Basically, it'll it'll keep counting, so you just stop it, and then you let it go a little bit, and then it's gonna keep going. So, as you can see, this is pretty awesome because it's it. It basically tells you when you need to stop instead of having to kind of like time yourself and all that, you know, nonsense. So, so let's just say, I'm going to, this is going to be an easy like tutorial. It's not going to be some like high ass frame where it's going to be like, oh my God, you know, you got to wait this long, but it'll give you a gist of what you need to do. So hopefully this helps, I guess. And, um, yeah, so turn the volume back on. It's at a hundred. Oh, and by the way, if you, if you soft reset, with the game buttons, which I believe is A, B, select, start. See how the frames didn't revert? They're gonna continue. So in order for them to go back to, to from like, uh, I think it's zero. This is Ruby, so it's, the seed is different. I'll explain that later. But, so you have to hit control R to reset it and it'll actually reset the frames and start over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna RNG a method one Pokemon, which is, I'm gonna do a Rayquaza. I think that's how you say it. So here in RNG reporter, you know, just select that. And I already have my ID and secret ID of this 
this particular game so I want to do shiny only I'm not gonna specify IVs because like I said I don't care I just want to show you guys in general how this works so and you generate it's kind of like my last video it was on it was on emerald and on emerald the seed or the frame always starts at zero for ruby and sapphire the seed sorry uh, you need to yeah you need to specify if you're doing emerald it's, you don't have to mess with the seed right here but on ruby and sapphire it's 5a0 right, so then then you generate sorry about that guys then you generate with shiny only and it's gonna give you here right so what I want to do is I want to see how fast I can get into the game and see what's the earliest frame I can hit. So how you do that is you basically just come back over here. You're gonna I'm I'm running blue script by the way, so I can see where I'm at. So you're gonna reset it. You're gonna get into the game as fast as you can, just to see how how low a frame you could get on. And, and as soon as you get it, make a save state. I just made a save state on save one. You're gonna pause it. Okay. So see how the frames pause because you pause it. You're gonna load the the save state one and it says 535 is where that state save state is at so 535 is where that save state is at and it's low enough to to maybe reach that so what you want to do to calculate because every pokemon or method one anyways has has an animation like kecleon it like does some weird like glistening or i don't know what the hell you want to call it, it goes in and out fades in and out and then you know rayquaza screams so what you want to do is you hold it on the save state you load up the save state it's loaded you're going to hold down the A for the game, whatever key you, you put it for. I put Z. I think everyone uses Z for A. So you're going to hold down Z, which is A, and then you're going to unpause it, and it'll automatically just right away start the fight. So then you're going to unpause it with Control P. Okay. And see, it just tells you what this Rayquaza has. So what you're going to do to figure out what you landed on is you go over here. I'm going to set these all equal so I don't have to worry about the equal sign. And the first one was 24, 29, 13, 6, 22, and 20. And then you're going to uncheck. Make sure you uncheck shiny because then you're going to be like, what the hell? So then you generate. And it says bashful. Blah, and you double check. Look, he's bashful. His PID is this right here. And if you want to check PID, it's the exact same. So that's what you're landing on. And you see the frame? 537. So your save state is at 535. And when you... When you do the animation and all that, basically what's happening here is you're going to want to do 537 minus what you're on, and basically it's a difference of two. So you're going to want to get your frame up to two before your target frame, basically what that means. So knowing that, we go back over here, we clear all this out. Sorry for the background music, I'm just going to let it play. You do the shiny again, remember we're like five, I think it was 535 for the save state, you generate. And the closest one is 736. So you go back to the emulator. You're going to pause it. You're going to load it. We're at 535. And the way you advance the frame without actually unpausing the game is Control N. So if I hold Control N, see it's just advancing. And you can kind of hear the music in the background. So we're, we're wanna, we're, we want to get to 734. Remember, because it's two frames before our target frame. So I'm going to keep going. Make sure you don't overdo it with by holding it too much. So you're gonna slightly keep going. And we're almost there, 734. Okay, so now technically all we have to do is unpause the game while holding A so you activate the animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hold down A and I'm gonna unpause the game. And now, see it says relaxed, all that good stuff. And look at that, he is shiny. So now we can go ahead and just stop this and as you can see, that's the way it pretty much works, guys. You want to go for a higher frame, you you let it run longer, you just speed it up, and then you periodically check, you kind of do your timing and all that stuff, and um, the timing I kind of explained in the first video, so you kind of know how to do that. But this just makes this so much easier, I mean, I did this in under, I don't even know how much time it took me, I, under 10 minutes, just because I had to explain and all that, but that's, that's it, guys, so... I mean, pause that so I can stop the music. So hopefully you guys understood this. If you have any questions, just leave some comments. I'll try to answer them. And uh, I'll, I'll be sure to put all the links with everything that you're going to need uh, in the description. So thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I was just looking at that. So yeah, thank you guys. Have a nice one.